Y'all, I made a big mistake. It's time to resell. It's time to resell. In the Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it and I also hope that you don't make the same mistake that I made today. But anyway, we're in the first thrift store and the first pair of shoes I picked up was a pair of Nike Air Max 90s and then I saw these y'all Vapor Max. A pair of Vapor Max at the thrift store. Pretty crazy, huh? Yep, so I picked those up too. And then I saw these Nike Air Max 98s. So y'all already know I had to grab these. Then I saw these Jordan 6 rings and I also found a pair of toddler Timberland boots. And as I'm looking, I see, oh, I see a all black pair of Nike Hirachis. So Hirachis actually sell very well for us. So I went ahead and grabbed those two. And then I thought these were some more Timberland boots, but they weren't. So I went ahead and put them back. And then I found some Nike Air Max 200s. And these are also a great seller. And then look guys, right below those Nike Air Max 200s, 200s i found these nike air max 270s and these i believe were a size 13 in men so these are going to sell very very well hey guys my gopro camera died but here's a picture of all of the shoes that i picked up at this one thrift store and then i went to the purse section because <laughs> if y'all didn't see my last video i picked up a coach purse that sold for over 200 but these coach purses weren't really going for much on ebay or poshmark and they were asking for too much money excuse me Oh, that's a good one. So you do whatever. You do whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. She, yeah, she got it. She's trying to get ahead of me. Yeah, she really is. We got to follow you. I'm good. No. You ain't going to know what it is. Huh? So you're not going to know what it is. Huh? Like, suitcase, though. What's $15? I don't got a couple of clients suitcase like now I'm in the clothing section and I always look at the men t-shirts because men t-shirts are actually the cheapest <laughs> item at Goodwill they're only three dollars so I found this rock revival t-shirt and it's all white it had no stains on it super clean so I went ahead and grabbed that shirt and then y'all I found this vintage three pack Tasmanian devil car freshener and I had to get it because it's so nostalgic all right guys right quick so I'm back at the house and as I'm examining all of the shoes that I picked up, uh, y'all, I made a big mistake on two pairs of the shoes that I picked up. But I'm going to let you guys finish watching the rest of the video, and I'm going to see you guys back here in a little bit. Hey, guys, I know you're thinking, man, what happened? Well, I'm going to tell you guys in a little bit. And no, I did not pick up any fake shoes, but I did pick up these Jordan 2s. <laughs> At this next thrift store, I found these Jordan 2s, and these actually sell very well, so y'all know I had to grab these. And then I saw these Michael Kors women's shoes, and for $14, I think they're $14, but they sell very well on eBay and Poshmark, so I definitely had to grab these shoes right here. And then I saw these men wheat Timberland boots, and we Timberland boots sell pretty well, but they were just asking too much money for them. So I went ahead and I left those behind. But then I found a pair of Harley Davidson men boots. And Harley Davidson is a really good brand, but their boots, depending on the style, they sell, you know, for a good amount, but these weren't worth much. So, you know, I had to put these back or whatever, but they were in good condition. So, you know, I went ahead and left them for somebody else who could probably, you know, wear them or whatever. And then I found these Dr. Martens. Dr. Martens is a really good brand to look out for. And they weren't asking much for it. But then I checked the bottom of the shoes, guys. And look at this right here. I did the bend test. And look, it's a crack on the bottom of the soles. So y'all already know, I have to leave those behind. Then I found a whole bag of ink cartridges. I'm going to share with you guys a little bit later on how much I paid for it. But if you see ink cartridges, of course, look up the comps to see how much they're going for. But guys, ink cartridges can sell for a lot, a lot of money. And then I went back to the shoe section to see if I missed anything. And then I found a brand new pair 
of Converse. Now I usually don't pick up Converse like this if they're used, but these were brand new, so I went ahead and grabbed them. And then y'all look, I see this Disney Parks tie-dyed shirt now. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but if it's vintage, I know it's probably gonna sell for a good amount of money. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Now this is vintage. Then I found this Adidas suit with the jacket and the pants. And I went ahead and grabbed this. And they were only asking, I think it was like eight, nine dollars for it. And then I see this bag with some electronics in it. And as I look a little closer, I see that it's a Lab Tech boom mic with the bass. And it's actually brand new. So y'all already know I had to grab that. And then I saw these headphones that were in the bag. And I thought they were Beats by Dre, but they're not. <laughs> but the brand is called Steel Series. So I went and grabbed that too. And then I see another ink cartridge. And that's going home with me too. Before I leave the thrift store, I always look in the glass case to see if there's anything in there that's valuable. And I found four pairs of Jordans, guys. These Jordans, yeah, they were asking a little much for them. But the second pair that you see right here actually ended up buying those for $28. And guys, they sell for over $100. But these shoes right here, these Jordans, they're in youth size. So I left those behind. And then these Nike Air Max 98s, I left those behind because they were asking way too much for these shoes. And they're only selling for around $40. And these Jordans are actually fake, those Jordan 10s. And these shoes at the bottom, they were kind of beat, so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fool with them. All right, guys, I'm back at the house, and before I get into the crazy mistake that I made, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I picked up, all right? So for $5, y'all, I picked up these ink cartridges, and y'all, if you see ink cartridges, that's how you said, ink cartridges? <laughs> but if you see this, uh, these ink HP, and even Canon, the brand Canon actually sells very well, too. But if you see these, you want to make sure that you, of course, look up the comps because these can sell very, very, very good and fast on eBay. And then, y'all, I picked up this other ink cartridge, 92, 93, you know, black in the multi tri color. But for a dollar and 81 cents, you can't beat that. So, yeah, the profit is there. And a lot of times you can find these again for cheap if you just look for them. And then I found this really cool Disney Parks tie-dye shirt for $2.69. I couldn't pass up on this, guys. It doesn't have a date anywhere on it, so I'm not sure if it's uh, vintage or not. If you guys know if it's vintage, please let me know in the comments. And then I picked up this vintage Tasmanian Devil fragrance air freshener three pack for one dollar. I couldn't pass up on this, guys. This is like super like retro right here. I didn't smell it to see if it has any smell but y'all let me know right quick hold up did y'all smell that does it have a smell to it oh it doesn't okay okay cool but as you guys can see it's from 1996 so i definitely had to grab this right here guys like this is just super cool right here as you guys saw some of the shoes i picked up right here these shoes actually i paid 28 dollars for them which was a lot but these shoes can sell for over a hundred dollars so I went ahead and bought those. I'm not gonna show you guys literally like every pair that I, you know, purchased and how much it went for. Like these Vapor Max, right here, these Vapor Max were, they were asking $12 for it. So you know, I had to grab those. And then these Converse, when I first saw them, I was like, you know what? I don't really like Converse, you know, sell them because they sell pretty slow, unless they're like a Chuck Taylor type of shoe. Then I saw the tag right here and I said, hold up, these might be brand new. So I looked and these are, brand spanking new it has a little dirt on it but i'm gonna just wipe that off but they're only asking ten dollars for it look 10.99 can't beat that for a brand new pair of converse and then these air force ones twelve dollars y'all already know <laughs> we sell a lot of air force ones and then these jordan twos right here these jordan two lows actually sell very well and they're asking 23 dollars for it but i had to grab these because these sell for over a hundred dollars so once I clean them up and fix them up, these are going to sell pretty, pretty fast. And then I found some Teva women boots. I've never found Teva women boots before. Let me know if you guys have ever found a pair of Teva women boots, but these boots, they were asking nine and I actually wiped the bottom off, cleaned up already a little bit. But yeah, they were only asking $10 for these. So I went ahead and grabbed these too. And the cups actually look pretty good. So. You know, I'm glad that I saw these. At first I passed them up because I couldn't see a name on them. And I just looked up the bottom and I was, oh, I flipped it up and I said, wow, these are Teva. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, you guys, so the mistake that I made on two pairs of these shoes, 
Do you guys know which one I made a mistake on? Huh? Do you guys know? Do you guys know? Uh, uh, uh. All right. So the pair that I made a mistake on are these Vapor Max right here, guys, and these Air Max 270s. So when I first saw these shoes, I actually saw these first, and I checked the air bubble, and I was like, you know what? The air bubble on these are great. So as I was grabbing a lot of these other shoes, a lot of people started coming in the store. So I had to hurry up and, and pick up the shoes and put them in my cart, but I didn't really look at the back of these guys. Look, as you can see, it's popped. The air bubble has popped. And yeah, I paid, you know, $12 for it. But the thing is, guys, on the right shoe, the air bubble is good. Nothing's wrong with the air bubble. But on the left shoe, this air bubble right here, it's like, you can hear it? It's popped all the way, guys. So the hole is actually right here. And I can, like, put my finger all the way in it right here. So I'm going to have to toss these shoes. I'll probably take the laces out and the insoles. Or I might do a project where I'll try to fix them up or something, you know? Um, Y'all let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a video of, like, how to fix this uh, air pocket right here. It might not be, you know, the back to the original way with the air in it, but I may find a way or think of something I can do to, you know, fix it. So it is kind of wearable, but um, I don't know. But let me know in the comments if you want to see me do that type of video. And then the same thing on these shoes right here, guys. When I first saw them, I was like, $12? Oh, yeah, it's a deal. And then I checked the air bubble on this shoe right here because I looked at the price, $12. I said, oh, yeah, these are good. These are good. Nothing's wrong with it. As you can see. But then on this shoe, the air bubble is popped. And if you squeeze it at first, you can't really tell. And this is just a lesson. For you guys, when you're checking shoes, you want to make sure that both of them feel the same. This one is way harder than this one right here. See, I can squeeze this literally all the way in. It's hot. But this one, I can't squeeze all the way in. So that was a rookie mistake that I made today while I was out there thrifting. And yeah, like, it happens, you know? But I hope that you guys can learn from my mistake and that you won't make the same mistake that I made. And it can cost you money. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. Me and Jasmine, we just thank you guys so much for all of the great comments and just the love that you guys are showing us, you know, on the YouTube channel, you know, part of the YouTube family. So thank you guys again for watching. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and press that subscribe button right below the video. <laughs> and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you check your shoes. Peace. I'm